Now, everybody lives in their own kind of bubble. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking that this, this study really kind of shows that. It shows that these rich people, they're, they're born in a bubble where everything is made. They've never had to uh, experience being poor. They've never had to experience the troubles of being uh, poor. And they've never had to rely on other people quite the same way that, that poor people do. Right. Um, when when you're you know when you're somebody who's a lower class poor person, you tend to uh, rely on your family, your friends a little bit more. You tend to empathize more with family and friends that are also having the same kind of troubles as you, and so it it kind of helps you understand what other people are going through, and also uh, the people that you're around, your friends and family, they're also more apt to help you. You know, right, absolutely. When you're poor. Some, some people don't need the experiences in order to empathize with others and put themselves in that position. That's but, true. But it, seems like, it seems like most people don't get it until they really experience it for themselves. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Um, and so going back to the point that I was making about uh, some of these wealthier people, they don't rely so much, and this was in the study as well, um, they don't rely as much on the people around them. If they have financial trouble, well, the whole point is that they're rich and they, they don't have financial trouble. You right. know what I mean? And so right. they don't count on family and friends. And, you, you know, it's just it's just them living in that, that kind of, I'm super rich bubble. I don't have any kinds of these problems. And it did, they just don't kind of, they just don't think. It, 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 it entails a definite a, a disconnect. Yes. Um, uh, rich people, a lot of them seem to live in their own reality. The bubble is so thick that they're, they're so severely divided from the rest of the populace that they, they just don't get it. It's like um, Senator, what's his name, I can't remember right now, who said that uh, it's not evil to cut food stamps because... Oh, you're talking about Lou Gomer. Louis Gomer saying that poor people oh, buy Louis crab Gomer. legs with their food stamps and they're eating too much food, so actually cutting food stamps will help poor people because they're too fat. Oh, because, yeah, because they're too fat. Now, the stuff, the, the shit that comes out of Louis Gomer's mouth, <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. He's either the most stupid congressman ever, or he's very, very crafty at showing how, like, trying to lure people into a false sense of security or something, but I think I'll just go with the with the latter um, and say that he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. So I, I want to go kind of go back to Congress. Do you think that this is uh, this whole study kind of explains why Congress is the way it is, right? I mean, Absolutely. most of the Congress is worth a million dollars or more. Absolutely, and I, and especially the Senate. Because in the House of Representatives, there are a lot more representatives, of course. So you get more people who are like have come from the from the grassroots up and have really, you know, you get some people who like the like the mother who was a single mother on welfare at one point and worked her way up and eventually became a representative. That's fantastic. But most senators, there's like a glass ceiling. If you don't have, you know, millions of dollars, at least in sponsors and corporate sponsors, then you're not going to get into the Senate. And if you so, have those corporate sponsors, you're going to get money from them anyway. Absolutely. You know. And and then then their interests become paramount over anything else. And uh, so absolutely, the the study just goes adds another layer onto money corrupts. And. I gotta point out that it's not just uh, Republicans. There are Democrats as well. You know, the centrist blue dog Democrats that kind of live in that same bubble and that always vote with the Republicans when it comes to uh, cutting things like food stamps and, and uh, restricting welfare benefits. You know, yep. doing drug tests for unemployment benefits, stuff like that. There yeah. are there are always two or three Democrats that always vote with the Republicans. Uh, Max Baucus, uh, always one of them. <clears throat> I'm sure. Um, I'm sure there are a couple of Democrats here in Ohio that are that are the same way and and uh, are like that. They're blue dog Democrats and not even really Democrats, or not really, not really, not really, certainly not progressives anyway. Oh, well, certainly, and 
You know what I think of too when I think of this study is um, Wall Street. Wall right. Street. Uh, um, you've got uh, Jamie Dimon. Um, uh, and his from, last uh, name is even Diamond. I know Diamond. You. It's not spelled the same, but you know what I mean. It, yes. There's kind of something there, right? That's. It's like Anthony Weiner. I mean, <laughs> something in the name. <laughs> oh, that's just irony right there. <laughs> but no, I I think of Wall Street when I think of this study, because they're about the most, you know, disconnected, seemingly sociopathic people around. I mean, Absolutely. we just did a story last week on how, once again, the bankers are literally making a profit off of foreclosing on people's homes. Yeah. That shows the biggest lack of empathy right there. When you're getting, when you're, uh, the, top, uh, the CEO of a company, uh, in this case, Brian Moynihan, uh, CEO of Bank of America, and you're going and you're you're having this program within your company to go and give out rewards for messing up people's lives. That is the purest lack of empathy that you could ever have. Definitely, yeah. I thought that I thought the interesting part in the study was using the game Monopoly to show that even with fake money, people can be corrupt into cheating. Yeah, that I thought that was kind of interesting as well. Um, and it, it shows it shows rather how petty people are and how um, easily manipulated they are. Yeah, because if you're if you're screwing people over for monopoly money, <laughs> you got problems. But no, uh, right. the study even said uh, back when there's a game, if you already had money, you'll still cheat. You're more likely to cheat, I should say, for fifty bucks. But you already have more money. And and the um, taking candy from the baby thing was that real? Are there actual... from children? Yes. How how well, did they're more did likely it... to the, the how it is that they had asked questions and it got them to reveal that they would indeed do these kind of unethical actions oh in order God. to get ahead because they feel more you know like superior. So they admitted the that, that they, they would they take can... candy from a baby. Literally, yes. Wow. As I know that's. It blows my mind. Like once again, I think of the Monopoly guy taking a sucker out of a kid's hand. Ha <laughs> ha! I got your sucker. What are you gonna do? I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, but you, can't you buy your own sucker? Uh, it's the same thing. Like you've got a lot of these uh, really, really rich people, the bankers, posting trillions and trillions of dollars in profits. And oh, I'm sorry, billions. In billions in profits, and they still want to get more. And not right. only do they want to get more, but they want to get more in the worst ways possible. And and yeah, it's absolutely terrible. I mean, it's it's like there are m millions of examples, but I'll, I'll, always the first example that comes to mind is one that's been around for years. You know, poor people have uh, 15 bucks in the bank, they overdraw, and you end up having to pay more money for not having enough money and and that little bit of change that they're scraping out of the pockets of poor people goes into the great big huge pile of gold that the super rich people are collecting and for what what could possibly how could that extra 10 20 30 dollars or even a million dollars added on to their already enormous sky you know uh, uh, scraping pile of money. Because they've earned it. How could it, it mean yeah. anything to them? Be because they've earned it. It's so petty. <laughs> and 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 then they call poor people, you know, lazy and and slack jawed and, and uh, uh, conniving <clears throat> thieves for you know thirty dollars a month in food stamps. Yeah, I know. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. <laughs>